the Prado, the Reina Sofia, everyone knows them and wants to visit them. But did you know that Madrid has an extensive collection of very interesting museums? Come and join us on a tour of 20 of the most interesting museums in the Spanish capital. Our challenge today is that by the end of the video, you will have got the bug to visit at least a handful of them. Hola, hello, que tal? I am Tony Galvez from Road Trip Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information and insider tips. In Madrid, you are going to find an exceptional range of museums. And to help you identify the most important ones, here's our selection of 20 museums presented in a strict alphabetical order. As usual, in the description of the video down here, we will include links to the websites of all the museums so you can check prices and opening times. Caixa Forum Madrid is a cultural center that belongs to the financial institution La Caixa and is quite close to the Prado Museum. It was opened in 28 in a building previously occupied by a power station. Outside, the vertical garden stands out with more than 15,000 species of plants. The Caixa Forum is the only entrance on our list that earns its presence for the magnificent temporary exhibitions it hosts on art, culture and society from all periods. The entrance to the Caixa Forum allows you to visit all the exhibitions present at the time. If you go to Madrid, be sure to check out the exhibitions on show. The Museo Arqueológico Nacional, the National Archaeological Museum, also known by the initials MAN, is one of the most fascinating museums in Madrid. It was founded in 1867 by a decree of Queen Isabel II. Its aim was to create a space to deposit the collections of coins, archaeology, ethnography and decorative arts that had been accumulated by the Spanish monarchs. The museum shares a building with the National Library of Spain. Highlights include Paleolithic artifacts, Roman remains with several magnificent mosaics, and a small but select collection of objects from ancient Egypt and the Near East. One of the museum's most famous works is the Dama de Elche, a bust that was originally polychrome and was discovered by chance in 1897. The museum is a perfect place to take children to have fun with educational experiences. They will learn about the antiquity, find treasures at the bottom of the sea, and discover mummies from ancient Egypt. The Museo de la Casa de la Moneda, the Mint Museum, is considered one of the most important museums in the world on the subject. Its origins date back to the 18th century and its collection allows you to trace the history of coins from their origins to the present day. The museum also holds all the Spanish postage stamps printed since 1850 and also the national lottery tickets. The museum also has a valuable collection of banknotes from other countries. And on top of all that, fans of the series Money Heist already know that the Casa de la Moneda was the target of the gang's first big robbery. Admission to the museum is free, but don't forget to bring your ID, as you'll be asked for it at the entrance. The Ferralbo Museum is an excellent example of a 19th century palace preserving the original interior decoration. Inside, you will be able to contemplate the extensive collection of works of art, archaeological objects and antiques belonging to the former Marquis of Ferralbo. There are paintings, arms and armor, sculptures, books, medals, many clocks, among other objects. The collection is distributed throughout the different rooms of the palace. The 
Museo de América, the Museum of the Americas, occupies a building inaugurated in 1954. Its collections include works from, among others, the National Archaeological Museum and the Museum of Natural Sciences. It is a museum dedicated to the heritage of the American continent and its peoples. The historical period covered by the museum is extensive, beginning in the prehistory of the continent and reaching the present day. There are more than 25,000 objects, including archaeological pieces and colonial art. If you visit the Museo de América, take the opportunity to go up the neighboring Faro de Moncloa, our favorite viewpoint in Madrid. in the list are rather different museum because as its name suggests it is located in the open air more precisely under a viaduct that crosses the Paseo de la Castellana the museum is structured on three different levels starting from Calle Serrano and features abstract sculpture works by big Spanish names such as Eduardo Chillida, Juan Miró and Jose Maria Subirac Despite being a noble region of Madrid, and despite the fact that it has recently been modernized, we found it rather neglected and found it quite difficult to contemplate some of the works without being run over by the skateboarders who had taken possession of part of the space. The Museo de Historia de Madrid occupies a beautiful baroque building, the former Hospicio de San Fernando, designed by Pedro Rivera. The museum was refurbished and reopened at the end of 2014. Its collections, which include paintings, maps, models, photographs, sculptures, porcelain, furniture and coins, tell the story of the historical evolution of the Spanish capital. Museo del Romanticismo, the Museum of Romanticism, occupies a former 18th century palace where 19th century paintings and furniture are exhibited in an attempt to illustrate the life of the Spanish gentry during the cultural movement of Romanticism. From paintings by Goya to collections of porcelain dolls, pictures or jewelry, everything tries to recreate the atmosphere of the movement in the first half of the 19th century. The Museo del Traje Custom Museum was created in 2004 from collections that already existed in other museums in the 20th century. It has just undergone a refurbishment that has left it beautiful. The museum presents a journey through the history of Spain from the 17th century to the present through its collection of clothes and accessories with informative panels in English and Spanish that help to contextualize each period and its transformations. It is a beautiful museum, a must for anyone interested in clothing through history. The amazing Museo Geominero occupies a listed building from the beginning of the 20th century, with an extraordinary central hall full of wooden showcases and covered with a large stained glass window. The purpose of the museum is to conserve and popularize the wealth of Spain's geological and paleontological heritage. It is an excellent place to go with children and, in our opinion, is one of the most beautiful museums in Madrid. The 
The Lazaro Galdiano Museum occupies a former palace in a very noble location within the city. The museum exhibits the incredible art collection of the private collector Jose Lazaro Galdiano, made up of 4,800 pieces distributed over the four floors of the museum. They include paintings, sculptures, ceramics, metals, weapons, and textile objects. Among the Lazaro Galdiano's most outstanding works are paintings by Goya, El Bosco, El Greco, and Zurbarán. Reina Sofia is one of Madrid's great museums. It occupies a neoclassical building that was formerly a hospital. It was inaugurated as the Reina Sofia Art Center in 1986. The three towers with glass lifts were added in 1988, and at the turn of this century, the French architect Jean Nouvel was responsible for the most recent expansion of the museum. The Reina Sofia presents an exceptional collection of modern and contemporary Spanish art, with masterpieces by Dalí, Miro, Gris and Picasso. The Reina Sofia is, of course, home to one of the most important paintings in history, Picasso's Guernica. The National Museum of Anthropology aims to present a vision of the culture of different peoples of the world. Through contents grouped geographically and thematically, the museum occupies three floors dedicated to Africa, America and Asia. On display are objects related to clothing, food, leisure, music and beliefs. The National Museum of Decorative Arts was created at the beginning of the 20th century to present the work of craftsmen and artists. Most of the pieces in the collection are of Spanish origin, but it also exhibits works from other parts of the world, with a special attention to its collection of oriental art. Different parts of the museum recreate settings corresponding to different historical periods. Particularly beautiful is the 18th century kitchen from Valencia. The National Museum of Natural Sciences occupies the Palace of Arts and Industry, dating from the second half of the 19th century. It contains the largest collection of natural sciences in Spain, with both a scientific and educational purpose. The origin of most of the exhibits can be traced back to the scientific expeditions of the museum's researchers. The museum is divided in two large sections with separate axes, the biology area and the geology area, with a space reserved for dinosaur remains. It's a good place to go with the little ones, but if you have already been to the Natural History Museum in London, don't expect a museum as grandiose as the Kensington one. The Museo Nacional del Prado, or simply El Prado, has more than 200 years of history and is the most important museum in Madrid, in Spain, and one of the most important art galleries in the world. It would be impossible to list the most important works that you will find in the museum, which has a spectacular selection of works by artists such as Goya, Velázquez and El Bosco, as well as many other Spanish, Italian and Flemish artists. And do you know how to best appreciate El Prado in small doses? If you have time and a museum pass that allows for repeated visits, make short visits focusing on specific works or artists.
along with the Reina Sofia and the Prado, the Museo Nacional Thyssen Bornemisza completes the trilogy of extraordinary museums in Madrid. The collection contains works assembled by Baron Thyssen Bornemisza, works that traveled to the Palacio de Villahermosa in 1992 to become a museum following an agreement between its owner and the Spanish government. It is a rich and extensive collection with works from many historical periods, with paintings ranging from the 13th century to 20th century Europe. The Naval Museum is located in the premises of the General Headquarters of the Navy and depends on the Spanish Ministry of Defense. In its collections you will find all kinds of objects and pieces of historical value related to the history of the Navy and navigation. Particularly interesting are the numerous model ships as well as a map collection. It is a good museum to visit with children. The Sorolla Museum is very special because it occupies a house and studio of the Spanish painter Joaquin Sorolla. Visitors, as well as contemplating Sorolla's marvelous works, will also be able to tour the artist's house and see the master's everyday objects, and also stroll through a beautiful garden designed by Sorolla himself, an incredible oasis in the center of Madrid. In addition to paintings, the museum contains sculptures, ceramics, jewelry, and photographs. The Real Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando, the Royal Academy of Fine Arts of San Fernando, is one of the most important art institutions in Spain, having been founded in 1752. Its museum has more than 1,500 paintings and other artistic objects from a period of five centuries of art. You will find masterpieces by Spanish painters such as Goya, who taught at the Academy, and Zurbarán. And this has been our personal selection of 20 museums in Madrid. We hope we have discovered a museum you didn't know about and inspired you to visit it. There are many beautiful places for art lovers. To help you with your choices, you will now see on the screen the names of all the museums we have presented, as well as our special recommendations. On one side, the three outstanding museums of Madrid, El Prado, Reina Sofia and the Thyssen. On the other side, in green, you will see our favorite museums among the rest. You will have noticed throughout the video that in the information details of each museum, we mentioned whether or not it was included in a pass. Be sure to watch the video in which we talk about museum passes in Madrid, which can bring great savings for those who want to visit several museums during their stay in the city. As always, if you have any questions, take advantage of the commentary box to ask. If you found the video useful and want to leave us a thumbs up, we'll be grateful, and even more so if you dedicate a super thanks to our work. The information on Madrid Museums doesn't end here. You will see now on screen our video presenting the main combined and season tickets for Madrid Museums. Let's go and have a look at them. You will see there are some amazing savings to be had. We'll see you there.